Hello, friends. Sweet peoples, thanks for tuning in to Skidding Bear Studios. If you like what I do here, give me the thumbs up. Subscribe down there, there in the bottom uh, border. Today, I'm going to retire this wonderful chair I've had for several years. My wife and I bought this office chair at a local office supply store. And um, I had used a cushion, like just a pillow, a throw pillow, from one of our old couches on here to sit on to give me more cushion because there wasn't much cushion with this chair. And uh, this chair has seen better days. It's nice and you can lean back in it. And But I decided to take a different route. And I ordered the ARCR gaming chair, the Iron Man version. And I'm about to put that together today. Stay tuned, baby. Spin around and around in my new marble chair. Wound and round I go. The chair is actually made by Neo Chair. And they have a series of chairs that are based off of Marvel Comics. It says, let's start with the base. And it's kind of cool, the instructions are written like a comic, comic book. footies. I don't know what these are for. Oh, it's a glove. It's a glove. It's a Michael Jackson glove. Look at that. Step one, start with the base. So I'm gonna find the base over here somehow. So we'll get my wheels out here. It's five wheels. And it says, okay, we'll just put the wheels in. How do the wheels go in? I don't know, let's see here. That was easy is not. I don't know how these wheels go in. There's no key slots, there's nothing, there's no directions. It doesn't say, it just says put them in. It just shows a little diagram. Slide the wheel in. This is to put the cylinder, and this is this gas cylinder that because it goes in like that. And step number two. It's not step number three. Then I gotta put the body together. So far, these are the bolts that come with it. And from the way it's labeled in the catalog, it gives you your own Allen wrench, which has a Phillips screwdriver head on the end of it. So I don't think you need a drill. I don't think you need any extra tools. I think everything you need to create this chair and to build it is right here in this box. I've got this lined up. I've got this leaned up, leaning up against my my love seat here. Mine came, I got mine with a footrest. I've got a footrest here that I can pull up, put my feet up on. In case you want to take a nap in my chair or something. Because you have to slip the part you bolt on the bottom of the chair under the runner or whatever you call this pole here. This this holds the footrest, so you have to slide it underneath there. Nothing, nothing too hard to figure out. They also on this, they're labeled exactly what you need for each part of the assembly. So for instance, right here, you've got the 
the tilting bolt. Here you got the armrest bolts. Here you got the adjuster bolt. You got your Allen wrench. Then you've got your extra bolt. <laughs> these bolts in here and use the allen wrench to secure it i've got it all the way in i love allen wrenches they seem to be so much easier to use than or the hulk and grab the hulk and twist it hello friends and how are you all all right just line it up screw it in i call it a riser and it's labeled it says front and that's labeled as front right there it says front. So you just gotta make sure everything's, it's pretty much idiot proof. And that's gonna line up like that. And you put your, the same screws, L4 screws in there. Front. And there's a certain way you're supposed to tighten these. You're supposed to tighten them diagonally, diagonally. So I pre pre thread them. Or I call it pre threading. I don't know what the technical term is. And make sure the holes line up. That's what she said. <laughs> you gotta make sure the holes line up, there, young man, or you'll never get it in. So you're gonna make sure you you tighten them diagonally from each other. You tighten this one, and then this one. Then you put one in here. And then you put one down here and you tighten them across from each other. Kind of like when you put a tire back on a car. The next part are the vertical parts that hold the chair, the back of the chair on. And you assemble there are these things and you attach them to the size of the chair, size of the bottom and the back of the chair to hold the back of the chair on and to allow it to recline. To attach these, you got to put them, you got to make sure you've got the left side of the chair and the right side of the chair. So I know where the left side of the chair is because this part is my footrest and it goes to the front. So this is the front of the chair. So if I was sitting in it, this would be my left. Then you take these additional bolts, which are, these are called the adjuster. And there's four bolts per adjuster. And you need the adjuster bolts. It's pretty easily easy to understand, but this is marked up. <laughs> so the up has to go up. You have to make sure you're putting this on. And this is pointing up at the back of the chair and pointing up where the back of the chair will go. It, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty easy. I just pre-thread things ahead of time to, to line up the screws to make sure the holes are lined up so it will thread in nicely. And you get your old trusty Allen wrench here and you tighten it. And the directions say I'm almost done. Look at this. Sexy little superhero lady. Here, let me change the white balance on this. Sexy little superhero lady. She says, you're almost done. <laughs> to get these bolts or any of the bolts on the chair to tighten, you really got to put your body weight on it to push the head of the screw into the adjuster, compress the leather underneath it and compress the padding. If you don't do that, the head of the screw and, and, the, and the threads won't grab and it'll never screw in. So what I did is I just got really up on it, turned it on the side and just really put my weight on it and then turned it and it grabbed. But if you don't put some weight on it, <laughs> The, the leather and the padding under the leather will push the head of the screw out of the hole. So the leather is in the way of the threads. So it's almost impossible to, to thread the screw in there because the, the screw keeps get, getting hung up on the leather. So this is the chair. This is the back of the chair. And it's going to fit in to these... I call them adjusters. I don't know what they call them. But you just gotta line it up and screw it in. And now, we should put the chair onto the base. Let's see if I can get this to work right. 
Tip it. I'm not certain how to do this. I got everything under these covers you have to put on these, these plastic covers. This takes a couple of screws and they fit on. It's got the footrest. The footrest goes down like that, slides underneath. And this is supposedly a vibrating lumbar support pillow. It's got a USB connector. Let's see what happens when I sit in it. See if it falls apart. Ah, oh. hey, not bad. There you go. Put up my feet, get my foot rest out. Ah, I am Tony Stark. Big belly and all. I can spin around. Spin around and around in my new marble chair. Wound and round I go. It, it feels okay. It feels kind of flimsy compared to the chair I just rolled out of here, that gray one. You can adjust it. This thing will go straight up. You can go, you can lay all the way back in it if you want to. Oh, I don't think I could nap like this. I could probably, you know, do so for a couple of minutes, but I don't think this is the kind of chair you want to, you know, invite friends over and say, hey, I got a chair for you to sleep in after you've had a couple of drinks. So, and boom, as it says, boom, you got yourself. That is the Tony Stark chair. Put this back. See if I can go up and down on it. Oh, hey, it goes up pretty good. Hey there, everybody. I've had the better part of a day to sit in this chair. My new Tony Stark gaming chair. And I just want to kind of give you my summation of the chair after been sitting in it and working in the chair for a while. This is my Neo, my chair by Neo. It's a Neo chair. It's the Iron Man chair. I come to. I call it the Tony Stark chair. And honestly, I can say, you know, um, that it was easy to put together. It wasn't It wasn't completely easy, but it, I got it together in about an hour. Um, but it was pretty much idiot proof. If you follow directions that are written out like comic strip, written out like a comic strip, you'll have no problems with it. You don't need any additional tools. All the tools provide, all the bolts are provided. So far, it's staying together. It seems like a comfortable, sturdy chair. With this, the armrest go up and down. The armrest goes way down, and you can pull it right back. There's a little release here. Push it down, put your guitar in there, and you're fine. Negatives about this chair, as I've seen in many of the reviews about this chair, is that these rotate. They rotate about nine, well, not even ninety degrees, maybe eighty degrees. But if you're sitting here like this and you go to reach for your mouse, your armrest moves. It doesn't lock into place. It, it wiggles around and it moves, which doesn't bother me at all. But it, they go up nice and up and down, nice and easy. It's easy to sit in, and it's easy to maneuver in this in this chair. I think the things I love about this chair is it looks cool. This chair is also more functional for me. You've got this this footrest that comes out, as I showed you previously. This pops out, folds out, and you put up your feet. And it's that it's that simple. It's just that simple, and it's easy. It supports me well, and just what it needs to do, and it folds away nicely. I like the feel of it and the looks of it, so it does everything that I need to do. And, um, you know, the negative sides of it, it doesn't have a lot of padding in the seat for me, but I have now sat in this chair for hours at a time and my butt hasn't gone numb yet. I don't know what that is.
and this is the lumbar pillow and it also is a, a massager so the massager just plugs into your usb port on your computer and it powers it and there's just a little control it's just a little and it just vibrates it, it's pretty a wimpy 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 it's not a very powerful massager but the lumbar support gives you good back support and if you want to take it off it just held on here with these elastic straps you take it off comes with a nice little pillow here to rest your head back on it does say marvel on it i turned it around because i really don't want to advertise marvel because i have no affiliation with marvel and they have no affiliation with me and i don't want to give them any free advertising so i turned it around on a scale of you know one zero being the worst five being the best i give it about a three maybe a four it's all right i mean it does what i needed to do i wanted something that looks sleek and modern that was comfortable to sit in i could put my feet up in where the arm must moved up and down and i could rest my head because i sit i sit like this for hours at a time just hours editing video so far it's it's an okay it's an okay chair i mean if you want a good and expensive chair that's pretty easy to put together i would buy the neo chair the you know they have a series of chairs they have the the one i bought the iron man chair they have a spider-man chair and a couple others i would invest in this especially if you're younger and you're just setting up an office or just setting up your your gaming system you know, in, in your bedroom or in your uh, den or something. It's a good, good inexpensive chair that's easy to put together. I didn't have any major issues assembling this chair. Um, it's not exactly the most stable platform if you're going to tip in it. I, I honestly would just keep it about like this. I wouldn't go too much further back because you're going to go tumbling over backwards and break your neck. I would go to neochair.net and check out their chairs. Uh, I bought this off of Amazon, the Neo, the Neo, um, profile on Amazon and just go from there not too bad so there you have it. there's my review of the neo chair the um, Tony Stark Iron Man neo chair have a good day give me a thumbs up if you like my video subscribe have a good day bye